that is what narad is telling her slowly preparing her these words were theirs who live unforced to breathe unforced to breathe for the immortals for people like savitri not for people like the queen unforced to grieve nobody can force her to make life a grief and held by calm the swaying wheels of life and the long restlessness of transient thing and the trouble and passion of the unquiet world so this is what man is in one sentence describing unforced to grieve in contrast to that calm the swaying waves of life the long restlessness of transient things things come and go anitya they keep on changing constantly and the trouble and passion of the unquiet world it is for them his speech was meant it was it was not meant for the queen savitri is not forced to grieve as though her own bosom were pierced the mother saw the ancient human sentence strike her child her sweet name that deserved another fate only a larger measure given of tears in the words of narad she is now seeing grief waiting for savitri as though her own bosom were pierced obviously she is so dear to her my sabitri which mother will not accept a calamity for her daughter and therefore her bosom is pierced it is torn to bits as though her own bosom were pierced the mother saw the ancient human sentence ancient human sentence that is the fate of man through the ages it happens it has been happening it had happened also earlier through the ages ancient human sentence yes life will be full of grief full of misfortune you are enjoying but then there is a deeper grief also in life that is the human sentence ancient timeless it has been there right from the beginning of the whole process from the process from the beginning of evolution itself the ancient human center strike savitri's mother didn't expect that that ancient sentence will also strike her daughter she thought that her daughter was somebody exceptional she is fully protected from every evil but now that evil is going to strike even her she was not expecting that thing at all is you know. the ancient human sentence strike her child her sweetness that deserved another fate she is really sweet so charming and all that kind of a thing and she never expected that the fate will be so cruel to her a sweetness that deserved another fate only a larger measure given of tears aspiring to the nature of the gods that is what savitri is human savitri aspiring to the nature of the gods a mind proof armored made in mighty thoughts she is fully protected she has got the sheet around her proof armored a mind proof armored so her mind itself is fully protected there is a kind of a bulletproof sheet around the mind and therefore no evil thoughts can enter into it they cannot pierce into it you see aspiring into the nature of the gods you see that is why she is like that no evil because the, that itself becomes a calamity if the evil can enter it will enter 
Mr. Savitri's mind is fully proof armored, made in mighty thought, a will, entire caution behind wisdom to see. So he, see the whole whole description here is now of the uh, armor and shield. You see, mind proof armor, will bearing the wisdom to see. Her mind is like that, her will is wearing the shield of wisdom. So she is wise, she understands everything and therefore even if there is a calamitous thing, she knows how to take care of that. A will, entire caution behind wisdom, she said. Though to still heavens of knowledge she had reason, though calm and wise and Ashwapati's queen, I am sorry, this is for Savitri's mother. Though to still heavens of knowledge she had reason, though calm and wise and Ashwapati's queen, human was she still and opened doors of greed. She is fully protected. Her will is also, this is for Savitri's mother, not Savitri. Mind, proof, armor, that is the quality of Savitri's mother. Pardon me? It's for the queen. It's not no, no, it's for the queen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I made a mistake there. Aspiring, because she's aspiring to the nature of the gods. Because, because she is the queen of Ashwapati, the yogi. So she has a share in that. Yeah, queen, yeah. Though calm and wise and Ashwapati's queen, she is proof armored, her will is guarded by the wisdom shield. Though still, to still heavens of knowledge, she, this is a very great qualification for Savitri's mother. She has reason to still heavens of knowledge. And all that thing is simply summarized in one single phrase. Ashwapati is queen. Yeah, yeah it's a great quality. Why does he say human is? Pardon? Why does Shabhinath say human is? She's still human still is. Why, why does she? Why human was still, still, yeah. In fact, okay. open the doors to grief. Although she's aspiring. No, but he's using past tense. Yeah, yeah, now she says human, yeah, this is the one now. Because she is. She is human still. Yeah, but he's using the past tense, not the present tense. She is human. But he says was. No, he, he has, so human was, I mean, that is the way you are saying. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I would have said. Grammatically, this is. This is, is she is still human. No, she, she is still, yeah. it means, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Aspiring to the nature of the gods. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. And my, yeah, this is a description of her, you see, of, her, of the queen. Yeah. Human was she still and opened her doors to grief. She could not. After all, she is a human mother. She is a human mother, you see. She is a human mother. Therefore, she is going to get affected by the fate of her daughter. Which mother will like her daughter to become a widow one year after the marriage? Impossible to imagine that. No mother will like her daughter to become a widow one year after the marriage. Impossible. If she is told like that, naturally she will weep, cry, make all kind of noises, tantrums, what you see. <laughs> all that thing you see. It's bound to happen. Human was she still and opened the doors of now in fact this is the beauty of the story. As I told you last time, in the original story of Mahabharat, the queen is not present at all anyway. The discussion is entirely between Ashwapati and Narada. They are exchanging all kind of uh, details, you see. 
the queen is not present there at all you see in the earlier draft of shevandu savitri prior to 1927 queen was not present he introduced the extra character in the story of savitri in that particular draft <clears throat> now all these descriptions which are here would never apply to an accomplished yogi like ashwapati it would be very incompatible it would be incongruent i mean you are talking of ashwapati having read the transcendental now that thing and suddenly he is weeping crying you see that will be very disastrous this kind of a thing you see so he introduced this extra character in the story to develop this aspect of relationship of psychology of nature of human nature and it is very clear here therefore he says at the same time he says why an ashwapati is queen he has qualified her as her greatness also still she is human this double element cannot be present in the case of ashwapati alone so the character was split in that sense and when did ashwapati write this yes when when she here 26 or 28 27 i think 27 yeah 90 also still in the around 90 about that time did he reach superman already yes no no no, no. superman he had attained long long ago long ago huh? uh, so he actually he was not human he really? was not human but the front point of the development of the story yeah but that, that's why he can say human was yeah that's why human was still he was already past that stage yeah, yeah. And See, therefore, Sri Aurobindo would not agree. If this happened to him, Sri Aurobindo would not agree. He's agreeing. Yeah. Yeah. For him, there is no question of grief. No, because he has already seen the shadow is there, and that tremendous light is there. All that is there is. Now, the only point which one could ponder about is, for the sake of argument. Narad does not come. Savitri comes back to the palace, and she tells her parents, "Look, I have chosen Satyavan for my husband." Would in that case Ashwapati see the shadow or not? Yes, he would have seen. He would have seen. He would have seen definitely. He would have definitely seen the shadow, but but. he would not perhaps know all the details he has seen some kind of uh, uh, peculiar situation shadow is there and light is chasing and that sort of but the details of that thing he might not have known so even in the absence of naras arrival naras coming savit uh, ashwapati would have definitely felt Look, there is something there, and then still he would have said, "All right, we have decided. Go ahead. We'll fix up your marriage with him, because he saw the shadow being changed by light. Also, the stony-eyed injustice she accused of the marvel goddess of inflexible law. Naturally, this is what a human soul will do. She will accuse inflexible law, inflexible law." the law of this inconscient world she will accuse him later on savitri's mother is going to say i will going to ask narad it is your god who has created this miserable world what kind of god is it <laughs> what kind of god is it she is going to ask him tomorrow you see or the marvel god it of inflexible law nor short the strength extreme adversity bring now this is this is pure pure psychology you see what elevated psychology she even is depicting here yes calamity is there i know that calamity is there but then can i muster strength to meet the calamity savitri sorry savitri's mother will be will she be in a position to muster strength to meet the calamity do we have that capacity that extreme adversity will give us strength you know that 
these circumstances are going to be adverse, a heroic soul, a well-developed soul will immediately say, yes, let me accept that adversity, that situation of adverseness and meet the challenge. Means I will master strength in that case. Savitri's mother could have done that according to the poet here. She did not. She did not. Nor sought the strength the extreme adversity brings to lives that stand erect and front the world power. Her heart appealed again the impartial judge. So she is going to accuse the judge. The judge is impartial, but she is not going to accept that judgment because it is not in her favor. So therefore she will say, the judge is corrupt. He has uh, taken the bribery or whatever it is, you see, and he gave a wrong statement, you see. <laughs> wrong statement, you see. Her heart appealed against the impartial judge, taxed with perversity, the impersonal one. Now, naturally, she is going to say, what kind of this creation is there? That great God you are seeing, merciful God and what not, and he is creating such uh, uh, situations here, such anguish, some difficulties, such calamities in our life. She is going to accuse him that thing. So her heart appealed against the impartial judge, taxed with perversity. So she says he is a perverse God. He's got <laughs> he's got, he creates calamities, it means that there is perversity in him. Perversity, the impersonal one, who is not bothered about this one, is absolute kind of detached from everything, that one. He is not influenced by this or by that. He is going to take the proper judgment in every respect. But she is accusing now, you had done that. What kind of person you are. Her tranquil spirit, she called not to her aid. Tranquil spirit. Because now she has become very emotional, very passionate, and therefore the tranquility is lost. Tranquil spirit, normally she is a tranquil person because she is calm and wise and Ashwapati is queen. She is calm and wise and Ashwapati. She does not call back that tranquility at this moment of truth, at this moment of difficulty, of adversity, she does not summon the tranquility. Although she is Ashwapati's queen, her tranquil spirit, she called not to her aid. But as a common man beneath his load, grows faint and breathes his pain in ignorant words, so now, she arrayed the world's impassive will. So through her words, she is going to express the sentiments of the human creature. Arrayed the world's impassive will, she is going to speak on behalf of every one of us. And she is asking now Narad, what stealthy doom has crept across her path? Panther doom, she was saying. Now, what is the doom? Let me know at least that thing. Emerging from the dark for a sullen heart. What evil thing stood smiling by the way and wove the beauty of the Salva boy? <laughs> <laughs> she is now pinpointing everything. Yes, this boy, she is coming like an enemy to her. There is, in fact, basically some evil which has taken the shape, the form of the Shalva boy. What evil thing stood smiling by the way and wore the beauty? So Savitri was attracted by that beauty. She was enamored by it. And she has kind of fallen into the trap of this evil thing. Evil thing took the shape of Satyavan and Savitri was attracted by him 
and she has succumbed to it. But, you know, and woe the beauty of the Shalvava. So she's asking, yes, let us know what is that mean. Perhaps he came an enemy from her past. So now she is going to put forward all kind of arguments, you see. <laughs> the, the whole human psychology, the Indian psychology of Punya, Pap, Karma, Karma particularly, everything is now getting their expression here, you see. <laughs> he came an enemy from her past and with a hidden force of ancient wrongs. Again, you see, ancient human sentence, ancient wrongs. Maybe some birth long ago in some previous, previous, previous birth, something must have happened to him because of Savitri and he is now coming here to take full revenge. It is because of you, Savitri, that I have suffered like this. And now he has taken that birth and he wants to avenge it. Ancient wrong. Huh? Yeah. This side, karma. Yeah, yeah. Himself unknowing, of course, the poor God is not known. But it is that that past which has taken that shape and presenting itself to him. Himself unknowing and sees her unknown. So this is the argument now she is going to make, obviously. <laughs> she is now really becoming very passionate and she has the knowledge of everything, you see. Here, dreadfully entangled, love and hate meet us, blind wanderers with the perils of time. Perils of time. Yes, love is there. But that past hate is also there. They are coming together and they are taking, they are, this full play is now in action here. 